we are going to look into a modest research proposal, which does not involve eating Irish people, but um, it uh, may involve something very silly uh, as well. Uh, so the general idea, the whole thing can be summarized uh, in a simple way. Predict ideas, not words. So LLMs, large language models, are given usually text and they're told to predict the next word. And that's the target. And it works very, very well. So why, why mess with success? Well, usually it's not a good idea. But we propose here that uh, maybe someone out there should give uh, uh, something else a try. Not predicting words, but predicting ideas. So I was talking about this with a friend of mine. Uh, and uh, he just finished this paper. I uh, had this idea to predict ideas, not words, and he turned out turns out he uh, did a paper which showed that uh, large language models at uh, later uh, stages of processing um, the text. So as you go through the transformer layers and you get to the highest uh, layers those layers reflect something like ideas, general ideas uh, about the text being presented. Uh, sort of like uh, how images, when you are processing images with, with artificial neural networks, the first layers identify things like lines, edges, uh, corners, and things like that, shapes maybe later in other ones like circles, squares. And it keeps going up the hierarchy, textures often, and then you keep going up, and then eventually you start recognizing things like um, cats and dogs uh, later higher up in the hierarchy. So just like that, uh, LLMs higher up in the hierarchy have a representation of something like ideas. And I uh, told them about this, um, you know, predict words, predict ideas, not words. And... He uh, was intrigued, but uh, he switched his research direction. So now I'm talking to the general audience who might be interested in pursuing this. Um, okay, so here, as I said, uh, if we have a normal LLM, it's given some kind of text and it's told to guess what the next word is and, and uh, it comes up with something. And in these layers here, uh, you have some kind of higher level uh, thoughts that may uh, represent ideas such as cats and stuff like that. Um, so uh, these uh, bits here, I colored them. Uh, generally, they're here. They may be in some layer lower below, but let's just say for the sake of the argument, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's all up in the latest uh, lo uppermost layer. So these, these ideas, shall we say loosely, are sort of up there somewhere. And then something uh, can be done about this. Uh, we can uh, line up, just like we have at every time t, we have a uh, token that we presented to the network. So in this case, I just said, all right, uh, every word is a token, which is ridiculous. But OK, whatever. It's Every word is a token, let's say. And um, then we have. Uh, for every uh, single uh, representation, for every single uh, uh, piece of text that we presented to the network, uh, we have the ideas that were represented in the higher, highest most layers. And here I, I have the ideas slowly changing. So at every step T, the one of these things change, you know, and that's an interesting question. How fast would all of these ideas uh, change? Um, in If we were processing an image, pixel by pixel, um, the higher level ideas such as birds or dogs or cats would still be uh, stable relatively uh, as you go through many pixels. But 
uh, you know, would ideas presented in text, perhaps sentiment, uh, perhaps sentiment would uh, remain the same, but perhaps there's all sorts of other ideas, uh, high level ideas that may change more frequently. So the frequency may, of, of how quickly the high level ideas change may differ depending on what kind of idea is being represented. Um, but in any case, uh, let's go to our final slide, which is ex effectively the proposal. So, um, so we have our LLM number one, which uh, has some kind of representations as it's as it's uh, shown the text, and that generates uh, what we've seen before. Uh, for every word, it generates a kind of representation of what the text, uh, what the ideas looked like. Uh, at that, at, when that word was present for every token, I suppose uh, it shows what the uh, idea uh, idea bits looked like, and uh, and so we just generate that using LLM number one, and the LLM number one predicts the next word. It's just what it does. Now, LLM number two then is actually trained to predict uh, these ideas, but of course. It would be silly to predict ideas uh, if uh, if they are already predicted with LLM one. So we don't predict ideas at the time that uh, that they are processed. We actually choose some time ahead. Uh, so uh, we add a certain you know time current plus three steps ahead, time current plus two steps ahead. Maybe it would be different. Uh, and I wrote it down as a different value for different I, uh, bits because different bits may may or may not represent different ideas. But what we really want to do is not be able to predict things perfectly because that means that we are really not um, challenging the network. We want to have uh, uh, some level of ability to predict uh, the next... Uh, uh, the the next the the next value, um, but we don't want it to be absolutely perfect. So that means we're pushing it just to the limit. Um, uh, so then we would be able to create a lot of extra targets for the LLM to uh, try to guess. So that's one possibly beneficial thing. Now again, nothing is stopping us. Uh, from predicting, let's say, another, uh, the next word as well. Uh, that's, that's also something that can be done. Um, so we can just uh, augment the targets um, that we are aiming for uh, this way and uh, hopefully get more uh, capability out of the network because uh, it's um, potentially... Uh, thinking in a more general way it's not being um, it's not focusing too much on predicting effectively what would be very n noisy there's um, you know there's canine there's dog there's many different ways to say the same uh, thing um, there's many different ways to phrase the same idea but the if you're predicting the next idea then that's what you're all about you're you're not uh, just uh, trying to uh, focus on the on, on, on the detail. Uh, you're trying to focus on the generally uh, right, uh, right the, the right sense of what the text in the future is going to be about. So again, this is right here, if very predictable at uh, some uh, uh, if the bit is very predictable, idea bit is very predictable at some time t current plus n, then we try to predict time t current n plus 1. So one more uh, ahead of, uh, of whatever was very predictable. So that's the general idea. Now what would you get out of it? Well, uh, hopefully you would have... Uh, this LLM2, which would in some fashion be uh, superior, but you would have to put it through a battery of tests to see how um, 
uh, how would that be the case? It certainly would be uh, influenced by this kind of training, uh, but it would be, it, it is truly a research project. We don't, it's difficult to just guess what kind of uh, uh, results you might get out of it. It, it. it is, in a way, also exciting. There's an element of discovery to this, but since uh, I'm not looking to get a PhD or a master's right now, or I, I'm not in academia, I don't need to publish papers, and this looks like a paper type of thing, then uh, maybe uh, someone out there, such as yourself, would be interested in pursuing this and uh, seeing where it gets you. You know, maybe it gets you your PhD or master's. That would be pretty cool, right? Okay, so I hope that this is a novel idea. Uh, certainly... Uh, the people that I talk to seem to think so, but I don't really know. I mean, it's entirely conceivable somebody tried this already and it maybe didn't work for them. No, it never got published or maybe it got published somewhere, but it wasn't terribly impressive and it never got much traction. So maybe it's a bad idea from that regard, but maybe somebody's not really finding a way to uh, show its uh, positive attributes. So, you know, um, give it a try. I'd be happy to hear if this is in fact something that um, that is uh, is is not uh, um, uh, it has already been published. I would be happy to read that paper. Um, not something worth pursuing because of that. Uh, so, anyways, I'd be glad to hear from you. Uh,